Okay, well this is the second part of the video on 1.3. Now here we're calculating the midpoint of a line segment. So just to be clear, if we've got a line segment here going from Q to P or P to Q, the length of that line, whatever it is, now we know how to calculate that now, we know how to calculate how long P to Q is, but what's the halfway point? Well if I was to draw uh, for you a vertical line, and then I was to tell you, oh look, um, you know, that's one and that's, uh, I don't know, five. Where's the midpoint on that? Well, you'd be able to pretty well work out halfway between one and five is right there. And of course, it's going to be three, isn't it? Because that's two that way. And it's two that way. Isn't that the midpoint? Or if it was horizontal, it'd be easy. But uh, that, it's on, it's, on a, it's on an angle. So how do you exactly do you work out where's halfway? Well, you do it just like this. You break it up into the two different components because an angle, a line on an angle here, of course, has a gradient which has a vertical component, the rise, and it has a horizontal component, the run. So if you can work out halfway here, then that'll be the y component, and halfway here, that'll be the x component. Easy. So this is what we have here. So you've got a particular point P and Q, whatever they are, the x value of, uh, of p here, I call it x1, right across to the x2, the value of q. Just whatever the halfway point here, just like we did here is, that's where it is halfway. They're giving you a formula to calculate it here, but really that's all that it is. Um, that's all that's needed. Um, there's a worked example here. I'll leave you to look at that. Let's have a look at some of the problems. Here in question 9, you're asked to find the coordinates of the midway points. Now, look, it's just as easy as this. Here's the point 40 and the point 26. Now, you can draw a graph if you like. You can put the points on a graph, but really, where's the halfway point between x is 4 and x is 2? What's halfway between x is 4 and x is 2? x is 3. So, for this one here, the halfway point for x is this. And for y, we we'll go between 0 and 6. So it happens, just happens to be 3 also, so that's the midway point. Wow, how hard is that? So that's, uh, that's it, that's all, all the way you need to do for that. Here, now this is really important that we read the question, because that's where we make, often make our mistakes, we don't actually understand what's being asked here. So we're asked for the midpoint, the halfway mark, of a line segment that they're calling ST, so it's going from point S to point T, and they're telling you that that particular halfway point has those coordinates. So that's the answer of the last question. They're starting with the answer. They're now telling you that point S is at this point. So what's point T? So let's just look at that. So what they're saying is there's a line which goes from S and it goes to T. Now I don't know which way it goes. Could go that way, could go that way, could, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter for this particular problem. So it's saying that S is at this point here, 4, 1. There's a midpoint of this line segment ST, smack in the middle, which has the coordinates 3 and 6. So, should be a comma. So then it's saying, well, okay, well then what other is the coordinates of T? How are you going to work that out? Well, if you know that this value here for x is halfway between that value t and this point here, 6, is halfway between 1 and whatever that value is. So we're moving from 4 through to 3, and that's halfway, and then on to, well, this isn't hard, is it? If we've gone a travel distance of 1 to get to 3, we've got to go 1 more. So that must be 2. And if we've travelled from 1 to 6 and we're halfway, how far have we travelled? 5. So how far do we have to go? 5 more from 6, so 11. So that's our point. 2, 11. Wow, how tough is that? Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Oh, hooly dooly. What's all this talking about? It wants an equation, so we're not looking for a point. The perpendicular what's perpendicular at right angles, not necessarily horizontal. All right, those lines are perpendicular to each other. One of them is at right angles. It says the perpendicular bisector. 
a bisect to bisect something just means cut it in half. So it's talking about the midpoint of a line and a perpendicular that runs through it. In other words, you've got some line, I don't know which direction it goes because I haven't done the problem, you're going to do that, but it's running between points A and B, doesn't matter however they go, and there's going to be a midway point which is going to have a line running through it at right angles, and the question is what's the equation of that line there? How are you going to work that out? Well you know A and B, so you've got those points, so then you can work out this point here, it'll be point X, Y, something or other, you'll be able to work those out. Now if I know what those points, point, that point there is on this line, what else do I need? Well remember for a gradient, uh, for a, an equation of a line rather, I need a gradient and I need to be able to work out C. Now from this line here, I can work out a gradient. Now if I know the gradient there, let's call it, oh let's think of, will we call it M? Why not? So what will that be? Well, you know that the gradient there is going to be minus 1 over m. So if we can calculate that, we can calculate that gradient. We can then use the gradient there. We can put this in here. We can then uh, use this point here by substituting the y value and the x value in, then calculate c, and we'll be able to calculate our equation. I haven't looked at the back of the book to see what the answer is, so just be careful. If you've got an answer of, I'll just make this up. This isn't the answer. Let's say it came to this. You might not see that in the back of the book. It could say, shuffle around, it might look like this. Or it might look like this. Or if this turned out to be something like 2 thirds x, then they'll multiply everything by 3. So that'll become a 3y, a 2x, and 3 times that's 9. So you could end up with you know, something that looks like um, that. Or, or a whole lot of things. So right, that's of course none of those is the answer, but watch out for the way that they put it once you've calculated this. Let's have a look at uh, question 12 then. Um, okay, again we've got to just dissect it. A line is parallel to that line. What do we know about parallel lines? The gradients are the same, aren't they? What's the gradient of this line? Watch out, that says 2y. It just has to say y equals. We want to swap that around so it looks like this. So you have to shuffle that around a little bit. And it tells you that that line, which you'll be able to work the gradient out straight off once you change it into that form, it says it passes through a particular point which is midway between these points. Find the equation of this line in that, that uh, form. It's similar to the last question. You've got two points. There's a line going through those two points, whatever they are, halfway through. What's the equation of that line. Now this this line here, let's just go through this again, a line is parallel to the line with this equation and it passes through a point midway to that. Find the equation of this line. So this line here is merely giving the gradient of which line? Is it that one or that one? I'll leave you to work that out. Next question here, again equation of a line, that's what we want. That's of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining these points. It tells you what form to put it in as well. So not y equals mx plus c in the end. They want you to shuffle it around. I'll leave you with that one. Question 14. The vertices of a triangle are this, this and this. So we're told we've got a triangle, P, Q, R, whichever way you draw it, and they're the points. It tells you that. Find the coordinates of e coordinates of S now where is it? S is located midway at a midpoint of PQ. So where is that in the triangle? Halfway between PQ. And T is at the midpoint of PR. Where is that? So we need to locate those points and once we do that it just becomes a problem of two points. What's the halfway point? Finding those. Then it says show that ST is parallel to QR. Well wherever ST is, which you should realize by now, and QR, what's the characteristic of parallel lines? What is it that they have in common? Again, you should know that by now. So it says show that, so if you can prove that whatever it is that parallel lines have in common, that this and this have it, have this characteristic in common, then you'll uh, prove that, um, uh, that it's uh, parallel. Also it says to prove that it's half length and half its length. 
So you have to work out the length of that and work out the length of that. And uh, that's about it. I think that's probably enough for, uh, for this particular section.